Hi, this is the first video on Chapter 7 about equations and inequalities. It's really to start with some vocabulary words and a review of some stuff that you're probably already fairly familiar with. So let's start with three vocabulary terms. Variables is the first. A variable is a letter that represents a number. It could be like the letter A standing for 7, but it might not be 7, it might be 10. It might be anything. We don't know what it is. Its value can vary, and that's why it's called a variable. A constant is a symbol or a number, usually a number, that has a fixed value, and you know exactly what it represents. So if it says 3, it is 3. If it says pi, that's an example of a symbol. The symbol pi stands for 3.14159, on and on forever with no pattern. So that's an example of a symbol that represents a constant. If you put some things together, you can have a term. Um, a term can be a number or a variable, just separately, like 7 is a term, x is a term, that's 1 is a number, 1 is a variable. If you put them together with multiplication or division, you also have a term, such as 3x would mean 3 times x, or 4a, 4 times a, or a number divided by 5. So also divide, because this is actually the same as multiplying by 1 fifth. So it's kind of a clean definition to say the product of a number and a variable can be a term, but it can also be the quotient of a number and a variable. If it's just a number, like 5, you call it an arithmetic um, term. If it's uh, a, a variable, then it's um, an algebraic term. So let's think of what we can do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this board off. Some of the, the rules for working with terms. Um, one of the most important ideas is that you, you can only add terms that are the same or are like each other. And all numbers, all constants are like each other. So you can certainly add 52 and 73 because they're like each other. If you have 52n, which means a number multiplied by 52, or there's 52 of these, whatever it is, and say 17 um, m's, you're, you can't add those together, you're done. You can't simplify it any more than it already is because the rules for addition and subtraction say that you can only add like terms. And a great definition of like terms are terms that have, if it's an algebraic term, it has to have the same variable So if we make this an n, we're good so far. We can add 52n to 17n, but it also has to be the same power. The variable has to be the same power, which we are. So we have 52n's here and 17n's here for a total of 69n's. So we can do this addition problem. If this was n to the second power, then we don't change back to the second power. It doesn't fit our definition of like terms. We have the same variable, that's good, but we don't have the same power, second power, first power, so these terms are not like each other because they're, they're not to the same power, and we would be done, we can't add them. You can multiply things that are different, and I want to remind you, well, we'll do a simple multiplication. If you have 6 times 5n, you can simply multiply the coefficients together. Think about this, this multiplication problem as a repeated addition problem. It would mean you have 5n six times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As with any label, if, if these were books, five books on one shelf, five on another shelf, these are sets of five books, you wouldn't change the label. It's still books, and there's 30 of them. So these are not books, they're n's. We don't know it's a value, but we don't know what it is. But we can still say it's 30n. And even if the powers aren't the same, if we had two variables, if we had an expression that had, let me make it 6n, we can multiply this, because you can multiply things that are different. This would be 6, I'm going to use a dot here, times n, times 5, times another n. Be consistent. So we still have 6n times 5n. And with multiplication, we can change the order of the factors. So let's put the 6 and the 5 together, and the n times n together. 
and it would be 30 n to the second power. And then I want to remind you of the rule, uh, the power to uh, the the product of powers rule, that when you're multiplying uh, the same variable but the, there are powers involved, you add the exponents to find what the power should be, the resulting power should be. So this would be one in here and one in here, and one plus one is two. If this would be six n, let's give them none. Okay, it's not one. Six n to the third power times five n to the fourth power. We would have 6 times n times n times n times 5, and then 4 more multiplications of n. Rearrange and get 6 times 5, and then put the 7 n's together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Not suggesting you did it this way, but you can see how the rule will kind of pan out here. This will be 30 n to the 7th. Let's take the shortcut, it's going to be 6 times 5 is 30, n to the 3 plus 4 power. So you don't want to have to go through a sketch of that out every time, and you don't need to, but it does help you understand why the, the, product, the power multiplied by a power of the rule works. Just to summarize that up algebraically, if you've got x to the m times x to the n, it equals x to the m plus n power. And that's the, um, the multiplication power, uh, multiplying a power times a power. Then I want to do um, one more example. If we have um, the problem 5, actually 2 more, 5x to the third plus 2 thirds y plus 17. This is more about definitions here, just some vocabulary again. There are actually three separate terms here. This is a term that's combined a number and a variable, but they're, they're multiplied together, so that's considered one term. This is a separate term, and this is a separate term. This is a constant. This is a variable, and this is with the variable. The number that appears in front of the variable is referred to as the coefficient. So five is a coefficient, two-thirds is a coefficient. Um, so that's just, uh, again, introducing some terminology. If you're asking the coefficient of this term, you'd say 5. The coefficient of this term, you'd say 2 thirds. If you have something like this, this is a little tricky. If you have a over 5, it's not apparent what the coefficient is for this. But you could put uh, a 1 here. And it's true that this is the same as one-fifth a. Back to our original, dividing by five is the same as multiplying by one-fifth. You might remember that. You can, if you have a number divided by five, you can do keep change change times, and then this has to change. Just change division, multiplication, and this would be one-fifth. So a divided by five is the same as one-fifth times a. Then it's easy to identify, identify the coefficient of this as being one-fifth. Now I'm going to do the final problem, which is simplifying um, a, an expression. An expression is a combination of terms. I'm going to work on uh, number 17 from page 157. And the directions on this were simplify, do all the arithmetic that you can do. So we have 4 fifths p to the third, minus 4, minus 3 fifths p to the third power, plus 6. So we have, a, we have 4 uh, terms here, the 4p to the third, 4, 3 fifths p to the third, and 6. Two of them, there's a pair here that are like each other. These two are like each other, and these two constants are like each other. We have a subtraction, a subtraction, and an addition. And the way it's set now with the subtractions, you can't change the order of the operations, but it's going to be convenient to combine the things that are like each other with addition, then we can put them together. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to keep change, change, make it plus negative 4. Keep it negative 4, change this, and I can put a, a negative sign with the 3 or with the 5. So now my problem is 4 fifths p to the third plus negative 4 plus, I'm just doing this to kind of separate that addition sign from the negative sign, plus negative 3 fifths p to the third plus 6. Now I can put the terms that are like each other together. I'm going to rearrange this, these add ins, make it 4 fifths p to the third plus negative three-fifths p to the third 
plus negative 4 plus positive 6. And I can't just add from left to right, but I can only combine these two things and these two things, and then I'll be done. If I have uh, positive 4 fifths and negative 3 fifths, the difference is 1 fifth, and there's more positives than negatives. So I have 1 fifth more positive of these. And then 4 negatives and 6 positives makes 2 negatives. So this is my final answer simplified. After I change subtraction to addition, then change the order to put like terms together, and then combine like terms using addition. So the final answer there. Thanks.